show. Yeah, it's DJ Green Lantern and uh, Billionaire Boys Club present Breaking Point. We're doing it with Billionaire Boys Club too, so they're they're a brand and they're actually going to get behind it. Whereas with Life Without Shame, we had a, a brand that shall not be mentioned who made promises and you know exactly. See you later. And, you know, it just made sense. Like they they fuck with the music over there. They saw the momentum we had with Green and then with the last project, you know, so, you know, it just made sense, like, just because, like, it's just one of those things that grew organically. It wasn't like we hit them with, like, a business proposition, and then it was just like, oh, we're doing this, oh, word, you know, it was like, it was good. It was the way it's supposed to be. It wasn't like a setup, like, a, you know, us trading what we could do for each other. The constructive criticism and stuff that he offers me is, it's amazing, like, I really, really listen to him more than I would listen to a lot of other people because he's, he's like a DJ, but like, he pays attention to lyrics, so he'll be like, yo, the fact that you said that shit is crazy, or he'll be like, nah, you gotta say it slicker, you gotta find a better way to say it. Green's very hands-on. It's gonna be an EP, so it's gonna be like six or seven, maybe eight records. I have about 30 right now, um, but the stages that they're in, like a lot of them are incomplete or like in demo level stages, and I like to bring in like instruments and like make sure everything is real musical. Like I like everything to have like a big, full, more produced type of sound. So we're waiting on a bunch of that stuff, like, because I'm independent, so when you work as an independent artist, you don't have a label budget to, to call in all the studio musicians and stuff, so we got to kind of work on other people's time. Like, I'm fortunate enough to be able to work with, you know, the, the Grammy Award winning producers and the cast with the plaques and the number one records, but I got to do it on their schedules, you know, so it keeps me humble and it keeps me hungry, too. Hey, what up, y'all? It's Emilio Rojas. You're checking out The Smoke Shop, episode 20. Big shots to Smokestack recordings. When I've been running in place, just tell me what will it take? Yeah, tell me what will it take? You speak Spanish? No. From a I music standpoint, I think um, people know me best say? from uh, this song I had uh, called Mira Mira. Oh. With mm. Mira Mira, ven aquí. Mira Mira, ven aquí. Mira Mira, ven aquí. Me and him, we did a record called uh, Mira Mira. It was on my album. And that was called High, which was uh, produced by uh, Mick Boogie. You know, Mick Boogie um, um, put it out. And it was real, real dope. It, it got received well. You know, Digiwax was a, was a, was a big part of helping get, getting it to the DJs. And uh, Mira Mira was a record to me that um, it meant so much to me because there wasn't any representations of Latinos on the radio at all unless it was like yo ma yo you know what i mean bronx is was a huge muse for me because because you know it's nothing but buildings you know a lot of people even brooklyn has a tree you know what i mean <laughs> yeah so the bronx is just nothing but buildings and we and you know we 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 identified with each other you know um we knew what was hot and what wasn't you know well, you know, the Bronx is the home of hip hop because of that. It's not only the home; it's not the home of music or rap music. You know, I think I think rap, real rap music, started from the last poets, um, who you know was the you know did poetry over drums. But but the Bronx was the first to have the po the, the 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 graffiti, the the break dancing, the you know the gangs, and how it was implemented into the music. I think that's what made the Bronx the home of hip hop. Well, right now, that's I think that's one of the, one of the great things about uh, what I learned is I'm fusing everything that I learned from the from the Spanish home and everything that I learned from Apartment Three B. Is that's actually what we call our tour. Um, um, everything I learned from there, I'm fusing it to the stage and I'm fusing it on, on um, the mic and in the booth, and everybody is been real receptive to it because it sounds like regular you know records it sounds like regular people lifestyle what up y'all this is i'll be back the album's called rafael delegato it is super crazy it is um produced by my man live and myself we went super hard on this it sounds like the bronx it sounds like you know latin uh music fused with everything that we are in the hip-hop community and it's an untamed voice there's no cookie cutter uh, gimmick over here. You know what I mean? It's the South Bronx. 
It's called Rafael Delegato. Pick that up, download it, and it's dope. Hey yo, hey yo, what's up man, it's Wise Feet of Pimp The only rapper to ever represent from that format And that stage from New York City You know what I'm talking about? Yes sir, spreading ism all across the globe Anybody but God to tell me what to do with this You'd rather see a nigga caught up on some stupid shit Right now, I'm proud of the Static Select, the album right now uh, Population Control comes out, I'm on a song on there Called Let's Build, Chase Infinite, JFK, check that out I got Primo Pimpin' coming out right now uh, mixtape with number Primo Beats, you know what I'm saying, just released the first joint off of that, you know what I'm saying, so check that out, that'll be out November 1st. Life puts me in a strange state, I'm confused by the lessons of today, how do we get them back when the people... I mean, you can find me on any track in America, you know what I'm saying, you can find me there, you know, sending a bitch, you know what I'm saying, but uh, other than that, you know what I'm talking about, you can catch me on um, Twitter, at WISTHEP, W-A-I-S-T-H-E-P, and W-A-I-S-T-H-E-P dot com. W-A-I-S-T-H-E-P, everything, man. Why is that be called for some relationship advice? Whatever you need, man. I help you out, Jack. No, no go against the grain, simple and plain. Ah, uh, let's build, homie. Let's build. Show off, show off. Hmm. Uh. Change in the Louis baggage, brains like computer hackers, stains when them shooters blast your brains on your bougie mattress. Duck down. What up, y'all? It's your boy Terminology. Right now, we in Brooklyn holding it down for my man Static Selector, the whole Duck Down, Tyler Quilly, all of them, man. We out here cracking, man, about to rock the show. It's crazy, man. Static's a monster. Puts all kind of great different MCs from all over the world together on one project. Great producer. My man, Static Selector. Buy all his albums right now. Yeah, me and Static collectively wear a group called 1982. And uh, we got an album that we dropped last year, Critically Acclaimed. Uh, got an XL and a double XL. Had a video on them TV jams, which was love. Called You Should Go Home with Bun B and Mass Spike Now. So the movement is moving, man. New 1982 album dropping on December 20th. Make sure you look out for that. You already know. Smokestack, what up, baby? Talk about this rule EP. I think it's important to me, at least. So I hope you feel the same way. Hope we relate. Hope we hear with each other. You know what I mean, the rule EP, man. It's uh, it's laid back, it's cool. Something you ride through, smoke to, vibe out. It's more mellow. Something brand new and fresh that I did, and I hope you appreciate it. And it really, it's a uh, lot of thought infused to where my mind is at now. So. Hopefully you could relate, man. But it's laid back so you could just listen. I need y'all to listen to that. The whole thing is Canadian produced, man. Shout out to my guy. His name is actually the producer. He produced the whole joint. Shout out to the DJs, man. You know we do it for the DJs. Without the DJs, there is no us. So I definitely flew my ass out to uh to the big city out there and went to the Stylist Awards. Shout out to all the DJs I met out there, all the artists, man. Did something with the boy Rich Kid, it was crazy. When I was at the uh, Stylist Awards, though, I um, presented an award for, uh, to Drake. For, um, I forgot what he won, but he, he won that joint. <laughs> Whatever it was, he won it. Shout out to that boy Drake. Yeah, yeah, man. Shout out to Drake. He showed a lot of love, man. He said some good things about me, too. I'm, I'm a fan of the boy, so salute you, homie. Word. I holla at your boy on that twitter.com You know I talk crazy on that joint We're in Manhattan This is my very first time having visited the Red Bull space We're surrounded by white gallery walls free booths, and a lot of very beautiful people. My name is Dessa, I'm from Minneapolis. I represent a crew called Doom Tree. And uh, this is big city for us, man. We're having a lot of fun. We've been on our indie grind for a lot of years, and this is one of the first few years 
where we're actually seeing some returns on those investments, man. I couldn't be happier to be here. And I met at a club called St. Sebastian's, but the sun said something different. I remember thinking that I did We are uh, at Doomtree Records. We keep our own music available. We're also on iTunes. But the easiest way to figure out who we are, what we do, and what we sound like is to visit www.doomtree.net. Even the walls are in close when she plays the piano real soon. I dropped my second full-length release. It's called Caster the Twin. It's available on iTunes and at Best Buy. So if you'd like to hear some of what we do, that's a good disc to pick up. What up? My name is Yellow Wolf, here in New York. We just wrapped up the radioactive listening session. I'm here tonight to do a show at the Irving Plaza. It's my first time back headlining. So Shady Records, Ghetto Vision, provided us tonight a spot to have a listening party for Radioactive. Radioactive is dropping November 21st in stores everywhere. Check it out, man. It's your boy Akon over here with my brother Y. What's up, You know bro? what it is. My brother Moot. You know what I'm saying? Shella. Shella's in the place. The blazing. Uh, you already know, man. It's behind the scenes. You got the access to the after, behind after, before the departure <laughs> <laughs> of the freaky video. Oh, uh, no, nah, seriously, man. It's been all over the radio. It's all over through your boroughs. Now you're going to actually see, physically see the visuals on it. So look forward to it. Make sure y'all, you know what I'm saying, tweet it. Go ahead out there and support it. Vote it off on 106 and Park. It's coming to you real soon. And the album is in stores November 27th.